Today on IQ Projects, we're back on the X Mine 79 series and we're replacing these crusty old door cards. Alright, guys, welcome back to the channel. IQ Projects, I'm Roy. Good to see you again. So, today we're working on the door cards for the 79 series. Um, pretty simple little mod, but these are the factory ones uh, and they've spent 10 or so years in the mines and they're absolutely flogged. So I've got myself a sheet of 2mm hair cell ABS plastic, which is yeah what they make the eBay door cards out of. So you can buy these door cards pre-made off eBay for like 300 bucks for a set. I paid 100 bucks for this sheet and I'm going to knock up some custom ones myself. So let's get into it. The first step with replicating these door cards is to remove all the old vinyl so I've got a clean shape to trace onto a plywood template. Alright guys, so we're going alright. I've just traced these guys onto some plywood as I probably explained in the voiceover. I didn't trace in the window winder hole which is just here or the original handle hole. So these are the grab handles and that's the window winder. So if you're if you've been around for a little while on the channel you'll know that i've changed to jxl um power windows i'll link the video in the description but i don't need that under hole and i'm going to put holes further back for to bring the power through um for the window switch and for that big grab that new big jxl grab handle um so i'll show you that now a handy trick to mark holes that you can't see like on the back of this grab handle, is to put wet paint on the screw holes and then hold down the handle where you want it to be and that'll mark the holes for you. Alrighty, template all done so there's the door card um, the hole underneath there is all hidden nicely so that'll give me plenty of room to get the cables through now it is time find the bloody spot for that again oh that'll work out now we got to go out to the car and try and fit this and make sure it's going to work so after a quick test fit of the template up against the door I unwrapped my plastic and started to lay out my pieces. So I've just unwrapped this plastic and fuck me, I don't know what OzPost has done to this. <sighs> Fucking horrible. Anyway, there's going to be a little bit of a mark on the driver's side. There's not much I can do about it and not really any other way I can do this. Once I'd worked out my uh, best way to avoid the damaged corner of the plastic sheet, I then went about cutting them roughly to size uh, and then clamped them up to the template, ready for the trim router. So using a straight cutter piece in a trim router, I was able to cut that exact shape of the template into the two pieces of plastic. The cool thing about using this template is I'll keep it and if I ever wreck a door card or if I ever decide I want to make them out of something different, aluminium or a different colour of plastic or even vinyl again, I can very easily make another set. It's the next morning and these guys are good to go. I did run around them real quick with a little deburr tool, like the same one that plumbers use to take the burr off a piece of pipe. So um, yeah, they're all nicely cleaned up on the edge. The reason I did that is because otherwise the edge is very, very sharp. So it would like give you paper cuts every time you touched it pretty much. So yeah, and it'll also stop it getting little chips on the very edge that'll be real noticeable. So if I put a chamfer on there, it's not gonna it's not gonna do that. Uh, now I have a heap of leftover sound adner from when I did the cab, and I'm gonna lay I'm gonna do the inside of the door cards with that just to stop them drumming um, 
with vibration or whatever and and getting noisy um and yeah it'll also just give it a better feel because it'll thicken it up a bit on the inside so let's get stuck into that So here we are just drilling out all the mounting holes in the door out to 10 mil to put an M6 rib nut into those. Reason for this is because I am going to get really sick of breaking the plastic clips that normally hold these on and uh, yeah, just a pain. So we've gone with an M6 bolt and we'll do those in stainless steel and they're going to last forever. Alrighty fellas, the door cards are done. I went with rib nuts all the way around in every mounting hole just because I'm gonna get sick of breaking plastic clips. Um, and from there we're going with an M6 bolt, tw M6 20 mil stainless bolt and an M6 washer. Uh, we've got 14 of those, that should be enough to hold the cards on. Um, yeah, so they are done and the reason I haven't hooked up any of that electrical in those doors is because I got some other goodies to throw in there. I got a central locking kit that's going in next week. And yeah, I think that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.